When you have a Windows web server running, then uh, a very helpful tool is the software uh, Windows Web Platform Installer. That's the first software you will find it on the uh, on Microsoft. You copy that stuff, and that's the first stuff you sh should install here on your web server. Click on there on the web server itself, and then you should download it. I have alri already installed that stuff, and then you will get a second point. Now I've installed it and you will find some pretty neat other stuff so this is called web deploy and in web deploy uh, this web deploy or the web platform install helps you to install software on your machine uh, the, in the correct way and then you find the web deploy and deploy helps you in the IIS Internet Information Server so this one I'm adding this one <coughs> and now I install it I will accept all that stuff what did I say there yes that's okay Ah, yeah, okay. I, I like that stuff. Now, this the web deploy will be installed inside the web, uh, the IIS, and you will find this tool inside the IIS. So, now this one was done, okay, and I'm not sure why I installed all the other stuff, but it seems to be okay for me. Now, what I have to do, we have to start the IIS, the Internet Information Server. And there at the inform Internet Information Server you will find it now there. So this is a pretty good tool there. And then what I want to do now is I want to change the uh, my website, my, my website from uh, the NCQ website HTTP to HTTPS. And so when I run that stuff, that's my Chrome website, and I, when I run that and say, okay, this is my Microsoft website, you will see there's a uh, www dot, and I want to uh, increase it and go to this side, and it should be on HTTPS. So for this, I need. Uh, for this I need a URL rewrite and the URL rewrite will be done with with this one we need the web, web platform installer and now I start the this web platform installer and here I say okay URL rewrite and here it is the URL rewrite uh, 2.0 I edit and I edit here also what it's always is like this one you need this one okay Okay, this is done, and now I start my IIS again, and now inside my IIS I will find uh, this new point, it should be somewhere there, here it is, URL rewrite, and when we start that stuff, I would say I need a new rule, and here we have the canonical uh, domain name. 
and I will say okay uh, which one is the right one which is the primary one I will have this one and not this with uh, www I will select this one and so this is it and yes so saving this one and maybe restart and I will check it on our site when I when we click on our website maybe we have to restart it click on there restart and yes now I say okay I need www and as soon as I click on there the, fo the small uh, website will be um, taken so and now what we also can do there is we, when we have this one we go here to this canonical and double click on there and we will say to all machines when you drop down this uh, list we will say okay it needs uh, the three, 301 which means that the machine will be in permanent so this is now written in uh, in German 301 means that uh, all all machines know that it's uh, for permanent uh, re-rolling okay and that's it